The Valley Lab Laparoscopic Smoke Evacuation System is designed to improve visualization in your laparoscopic procedures by efficiently removing and filtering surgical smoke. The device evacuates and filters surgical smoke from the peritoneal cavity. It's easy to set up, doesn't require the suction of built-up smoke, and won't cause disruption to pneumoperitoneum. The laparoscopic smoke evacuation system can be configured in both active and passive modes. Connect the long, thin tubing to a free port on the wall suction canister or compatible suction unit outside the sterile field. Set the suction regulator between 100 and 400 millimeters of mercury. To set the laparoscopic smoke evacuation system in passive mode, the back end of the device does not need to connect to a suction device. When selecting a port, choose a trocar that will provide sustained, maximized airflow, or one with a larger diameter than the instrument. Avoid ports where the instrument is rarely removed or occupies maximum trocar space. Ideally, the selected trocar will be away from the insufflation port to allow for cross ventilation. Connect the shorter tubing to the lure lock on the trocar and then switch the trocar valve to the open position. There are two options for securing the device to the drape. Option one is to clip the device to the folded drape. Be sure to allow slack for movement of the drape. Option two is to pull the drape through the opening in the device and then secure using a surgical clamp. As with option one, be sure to allow slack for movement of the drape. To get an idea of how the device impacts gas flow levels on your insufflator, start with the device set to zero. Now turn the dial of the Valley Lab laparoscopic smoke evacuation system to your intended setting. The device is designed to evacuate smoke at a maximum rate of 14 liters per minute. As you increase the rate of smoke evacuation, you may notice the insufflator flow rate increasing. It is replacing the gas that is flowing out through the smoke evacuator while maintaining the set pressure. This is normal, and the system is designed to be used without the loss of pneumoperitoneum. The device will maintain pneumoperitoneum even at max settings. However, you may consider lower settings in certain instances to reduce the gas output from the insufflator. Adjust the suction levels to best suit the needs of your procedure. Once set, the smoke will be continuously evacuated through an OLPA filter in the device body. Any fluids from condensation will also be collected and will not drip on the floor. At the end of the procedure, simply disconnect and dispose of the device appropriately. Improve visualization. Reduce the risk of surgical smoke. The Valley Lab Laparoscopic Smoke Evacuation System efficiently filters surgical smoke in your OR.